right? Like you get to game seven, it's winner take all, and both teams have made this tremendous investment. Like, can you describe like what's on the line there? Like when you've played that much hockey and gone yeah. through that much. Well, that's that's why you play it again. This position, and there's mm -hmm. no better position to be in right now. So, mm -hmm. and yeah, two teams have done great jobs, and have gone through ups and downs, and plenty of them, and again through, went through injuries and a lot of adversity and. Tomorrow's going to be uh, a great test for both teams. It's, uh, yeah, that's why you work for it. You know, but you enjoy it along the way. And, or not, you enjoy those bumps and bruises, those achy feelings. And it's, I think it makes you feel like you, you're really working for, towards something. And then when it pays off and you get to this point and you can make something happen with it, that's that's when it, I don't think you feel that stuff anymore. After. Sorry, one more follow-up. That's what makes it important, right? That's what gives it meaning, the fact that like, all that. Yeah, Correct. of course, of yeah. course. And it's, I mean, whatever happens, this is, this is, you know, this is why you do it. This is, you put everything into this and see where it gets you. So. We talked earlier in the playoffs about Bergeron and when he went to you, even as a kid. Yeah. Uh, when he spoke up before game six, what were you, what were you thinking at that point? Uh, Run through a wall, that kind of thing? Or? Yeah, just read it. It was just, if you weren't focused, I mean, everyone was focused, but you were dialed in after that. It was, yeah, just guys like that stepping up, and different guys have done it throughout. Um, just say what needs to be said or what's on their mind, and it's all for the team, and we, that's, we're lucky to have guys like that. Is it old guys and young guys that speak up? or just Yeah, it's, it's everyone. Everyone yeah. plays their part. You know, sometimes some guys more than others, some guys more vocal, some guys aren't. Some guys lead by example. It's Everyone kind of has their own leadership qualities and how they portray them, but... So it makes a good team is guys who have that and use that. Charlie Z is a very communicative guy, especially one of the small chats, but how has he continued to lead when he can't really talk? <laughs> Uh, well, after that, what he went through, and him just come back, he doesn't need to say anything really. It's it's already been said, and it's already known. It's that's the example part, just him doing that, and not have to say a word. And that's just like you said, like running, want to run through the wall for him, because that's pretty much what he's doing. Charlie, growing up here, did you ever attend a championship parade in 2002? Yeah, um, I went maybe. One or two Patriot ones, and I don't know, one or two Red Sox ones, or something like that. Yeah. What, what do you remember from what you like? I was just best having to get to skip school. <laughs> <laughs> dress up in your Red Sox gear, Patriots gear, and you get to see the parade and go with the family, and yeah, just the buzz, and just, I don't know, it was just crazy. Just so many people who just love it. And Where? Big, um, it's Boston, you know, big sports town and just championships. And we were lucky, we were fortunate growing up to have the, that many and being able to attend those. And do you, I mean, do you think about what it would be like either then or now, what it would be like to be in it? Yeah, you, you try not to think too far ahead, obviously, but it's it's hard to, you know, you have thoughts that go through your mind and I've thought about a lot of scenarios and you, what it can be like, but for the most part, you just try to focus on the now and Take care of what's what's at stake now. That all their stuff will come. Charlie, who will be in the building for you tomorrow night? 